So this was the condition of the people. They used to divorce as they wished and take back as many times. So Allah later on revealed a verse. الطَّلَاقُ مَرَّتَانِ فَإِمْسَاكٌ بِمَعْرُوفٍ أَوْ تَسْرِيحٌ بِإِحْسَانٍ You can only divorce twice. You take back once if you want. Second time you can take back. The minute the third talaq drops or is given, you cannot take back. Until, and we read these verses this evening coincidentally in the surah that we read. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, until she marries again. I need to pause there for a moment. Why is it the case? Most of us don't even know how to divorce in Islam. And people think you just dish out three talaqs and walk away. Never ever do that. That is worse than a hooligan. Worse than an animal. It is very sinful to dish out one, two, three. Very sinful. If you would want, you need to be calm. You need to relax. People say, I gave my talaq in anger. Well, what do you expect? Do you think people would now be sitting with coffee and say, my wife, I divorce you. Would that happen? Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala never make us people who are foolish. When angry, watch your tongue. Control yourself. Calm down. If you really cannot get along, one talaq, more than enough. You don't need to issue the second. You don't. Not at all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Then if you want to get back, you can get back. No need to marry someone else and so on. Why is it that the third time she cannot get back to you? Because three whole times you tried so hard and she couldn't appreciate you or you could not appreciate her. She will never be able to live with you unless she has gone to someone else and has had an opportunity to compare you with someone else to the degree that she could not get along with him and was divorced from him. And now she says, let me go back to that man. He was much better. There were only 10 things wrong with him. This guy, there's 100 things wrong with him. Now it's, there's a chance of it working. So this is the logic behind it. Whereas we think, no, well, you know what? There was a man in Britain who told me once that, you know, I used to do halalas. You know what's a halala? For your information, it's haram. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has cursed the one whom a halala is done for and the one who does it. Where people divorce one, two, three, and they have divorced their wives, they want to get back. So they tell their friend, you know what? Let's work around this. You marry her for one night, tomorrow morning you divorce her again. When she's finished her idda, she'll get back to me. So the man says, Astaghfirullah. He says, I used to do this. And he says, until one day, oh, there was such a princess who came in my direction, I refused to divorce her. He says, now she's my wife, I've got so many children with her. Subhanallah. Allah protect us. Yet, that is jahiliyyah. Allah curses those who do that. Why do we not control our tongues? For what? Why do we have to be so foolish and then run to the ulama for help when we have shot ourselves three times in the chest with our own gun, the bullet piercing straight through the heart and we still want to resuscitate? The ignorance that was the time of jahiliyyah before Islam. They divorced as they wished, took back. So the woman was always hanging. She didn't know whether she was coming or going. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed them with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.